All right. Uh, the next thing on the bench is a PG508, a 50 megahertz pulse generator. Now, <laughs> I've had a Philips pulse generator, HP pulse generators. I've got a Tektronix pulse generator. Uh, yeah, a lot of pulse generators. So um, this one seems pretty nice, though. I kind of like this one. Um, it, uh, it has all of the functionality, and it seems to be pretty nice. Now, I talked before about how you can get pulse generators confused. If your pulse is longer than your period, then it it, sh it should complain, right? And this one does. It has this light down here that says control error. I don't know how they detect that, but it says, nah, you're doing something wrong. That's got to be off or it be operating correctly. So um, this particular unit seems to be operating just fine. So uh, this is the pulse duration. So you can see I can make it, I can make the pulses really, really short, make them even shorter. And uh, so make them even shorter and shorter. Um, so this is a 100 nanosecond wide pulse. This one, uh, let's see here. Get it triggering correctly. Uh, it's kind of going up and down pretty fast. Anyway, 10 nanoseconds up and down. Um, so let's go back out wide again. So it has um, pulse period, uh, pulse duration. So the pulse period is this knob, so you can make them go faster or slower. Um, so let me kind of show these at the same time if I can. I think you can probably see both of those. Anyway, yeah, this is the pulse pulse repetition pulse repetition rate, right? They call it period pulse repetition. Now you can trigger these things externally, and then you can trigger on an edge, and then you can create a pulse from that edge. So that's what this circuitry over here does. But if you don't want to have internal triggering, you can just say uh, just free run, and then it uses this knob as the period. Um, now, if you're inputting a pulse from the outside, you also have a delay knob. You can delay the pulse from your edge. That's what this knob does. And then the pulse period, the pulse uh, duration is this one. That's how, how wide your pulse is. Now, uh, we can go back to here, let's say. Um, and let me zoom in a little bit on this, on this pulse here. Can you still... Can you still see that? I'll go back and zoom in on that a little bit later. But we have transition time, so we can... Uh, we can change the, the, the rising and falling edge times. Let's make this a little bit longer and put this on the screen. There we go. So I can make these uh, edges. I can make the edges sharp or I can make them uh, slower. And you can individually uh, change that back one uh, if you want it, if you want it slower than the front one, it's just a potentiometer, so you can't set it exactly. But you can make you can make these different uh, from front to back. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Let me go. Let me zoom back out again, uh, and let's make the pulse duration a little shorter so we can see some pulses here. Or just we'll make this a little bit longer, and then that will that will be good. All right, so we have these positive going pulses. Um, so down on the box, we have complement. We can plus that. Now we have negative going pulses, so this just inverts the signal. Uh, these two knobs are very interesting. They set the high voltage and the low voltage. So I can set the, uh, the low voltage. Uh, so I can put that at ground, and then the high voltage I can move up and down independently. So I can make it... Uh, this is 2 volts, 4 volts, 5 volts. Um, and you can make it go plus and minus voltages with the offset knob here. So yeah, so ground and positive. So the, the negative part of the pulse and the positive part of the pulse. And then there's a, a button here uh, that is um, a preset. So you press that one, it goes into preset. And these two adjustments here allow you to set a high level and a low level. So I've set those to ground and plus five. So pulses are going now between ground and plus five when I press the preset. Um, so like I said, yeah, it all seems to work. 
it all seems to work just fine. I don't think I'll need to adjust this thing at all. Um, but I think we'll take a look inside, see how things are uh, going on in the inside. But it's very, very clean. Uh, this has been uh, very light, light duty, so I really like this particular unit. The reason that I, got, I, I wasn't really looking for this unit, but the reason that I got it was um, I wanted a, a, a TM503 mainframe, uh, a three wide mainframe. And I was shopping around, and they go for about not about a hundred dollars, something like that. And um, on a good day, usually around one hundred and twenty dollars, maybe more. Um, so I was looking for a cheap one because I'm cheap. And um, somebody had a TM five hundred listed, and I don't think they understood what they had. It was like a recycler or something like that. And the only number they saw was on the top of the box. And they go, oh, this thing must be a TM-500. But it included two plugins. It included this plugin and uh, the, um, I think it was the function generator plugin. I got those two plugins uh, in the unit. And it was only listed as a TM-503. It didn't use this part number or the other part number. And so uh, I got all three things. I got the, the, the 503 mainframe, this pulse generator, and the function generator all for $120, <laughs> which was a really good deal. Um, so that's why, that's why I have it. But I think this is one of my favorite plugins now for the, uh, the, the, uh, the plugin series that I've been doing. Yeah, this one's really, really nice. I think I'm only gonna do one more uh, plugin uh, it's coming in the mail. I, I'll save it as a surprise. It's it's a pretty fancy one. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, put this in that 503 uh, chassis. It could show show you all all together. But uh, uh, yeah, this one's uh, this one's working really really good. And like I said, it's pretty clean. The only thing that's uh, the only thing that's off on this one is the uh, the little knob here that you pull for Tektronics is really really dirty. So that was the only the only thing that's. Uh, shows anywhere is, is this one, which is kind of unusual. If they've pulled it in and out a lot, you'd expect to see wear elsewhere as well, but maybe it got replaced, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that one's really worn. Yeah, let's take a look inside. Uh, so here's this side, it's, it's, it's a double wide uh, plug-in, right? It takes up two slots. So there's kind of a daughter card here on top, there's a card down here, there's a card on the other side because it's, it's a big thick thing. Um, it looks pretty clean uh, mechanically. It's 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 better than most of the plugins I've seen. Some of the mechanical designs just been atrocious. This one seems fairly decent. Now the uh, back side of it has um, two edge connectors. Um, uh, very few connections are made off of, on this card here. Um, in fact, it's only six wires. And why would you need to go to a different six wires only on one plug-in, not use anything else on it? Remember those PNP and NPN transistors for each channel, for each, uh, each slot, I mean? Well, uh, they had a, a pair here, but they needed another pair. They needed two pairs of those big transistors, so they, they pulled it off of this connection. So the only thing used over here is, is the NPN PNP pair. Um, and on the other side, there's not much going on, I don't think. Let's see, let's oh, pull this off. Oh, there's quite a bit in here. Take this off. Yeah, there you go, wow. There's a lot going on in here. Uh, so, ooh, some really fancy part there. You see that one? Wow. Yeah, that one's a, looks like a super, super custom part. Um... Not sure what that is. And then these nice, uh, I don't know if they're transistors or uh, op amps. I think they're probably transistors uh, on pretty big uh, TO5 heat sinks. Um, yeah, there's a little uh, five volt regulator snuck down here. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Uh, what else is going on? Yeah, quite a few adjustments. So like I said, I don't think this is a cow though. It, Seems to be working just fine. I'm gonna skip on the cow on this one. But uh, yeah, that one's fascinating there. Uh. Okay, that was the uh, PG pulse generator, 508, 50 megahertz. Yeah, pretty nice.